Hi, Pete Scargo here. I created this very short video um, just to tell you what happened when I messed up the um, FEP sheet and base on my new GTEC printer and what's happened about it. But um, I thought for anybody new to this, I would just give you a quick introduction. The blog tells you about the GTEC printer. Let me show you now um, what I've printed with it successfully up to now. This is just a little demo wrong with some clear resin i had floating about so how does this all work you have um, imagine the printer has a flat lcd screen that lights up producing uh, ultraviolet light which can harden resin so you have this vat with a clear plastic sheet in it which is missing now because i've lost it that sits on top of the lcd display Imagine this is you've put some resin, you've poured some of the liquid resin in here, and your model software that you've you've you've, you've picked a model or you've done your own whatever, and you want an Eiffel Tower. It will actually start at the bottom. Um, and what happens is the LCD lights up at various points. So in this case the very bottom of the feet of this Eiffel Tower uh, and the resin at the very bottom on that FEP sheet goes hard, a very, very thin layer, fraction of a millimetre, goes hard under the UV light. Then your gantry pulls that up, the next slice, if you like, gets hardened. just takes a couple of seconds or so per layer, but it still takes hours to do the whole job. And over time, on your gantry, you build up a complete 3D model. What actually happened here was, this worked, but I decided I'd have a set of dice. So I put six, uh, I decided I was going to have six dice built up in here. And what happened was, over time, I wasn't watching, three hours or four hours later, I... Had a look, watched the gallery, there was nothing on it. Just the resin in here. And when I poked my gloved finger into the resin, there were little lumps on the FEP sheet. I very carefully picked them off, emptied the solution out. It's water soluble, this particular resin. But somehow in the process, I must have put too much stress on and damaged the sheet. So if i can show you this the underside what you would normally have is an fep sheet like this i'm not taking this special covering off here it's actually transparent you see that how that's got holes to match the base there that would fit perfectly you would then put the, the cover on so it would come like this ready to go press that down hard and put the screws in and you get an airtight seal there. I'm not going to do that here. This is a brand new sheet. In the process of doing damage, I managed to leave some resin, which is I'm, I'm, proving very hard to get off, in here. That's it. That's not the problem. The problem is this edge. This edge is now no longer perfectly smooth. So... I have visions of the resin creeping through and getting to the LCD screen. That happened last time. I was very lucky. The screen didn't suffer any damage. It cleaned up lovely. That's another good reason to use water uh, cleanable resin. Anyway, I really expected I was going to have to wait ages from China for a replacement sheet. What actually happened in a couple of weeks, not only did they send me a pre cut replacement sheet but they very kindly sent a completely assembled as new um, base or vat as they call them with the sheet uh, you can probably see that's absolutely perfect there um, why am I seeing something there oh that's just packaging dirt that's nothing 
it's absolutely nothing. I need to clean that up. Got my fingers on it. Um, and so there you are, your FEP sheet, your base. That will sit on top of the printer and be ready to go shortly after I've finished this video. But it took less than two weeks to get from China to Spain. Can't really gripe about that. And hopefully, the reason uh, this went wrong, these dice went wrong, was I didn't the exposure, didn't give quite enough exposure, what they call like a base exposure, for the uh, the base of the dice to stick to the gantry as it lifts up and away and takes away your finished dice. 